Dear friends, in volume 35, number 20, Gautama Buddha talks about the symbol of the anchor. And his message has much to do about qualifying for the ascension. Here is just the first of many suggestions that he gives on releasing one from our involvement in the earth and the earth desires. Notice his counsel. Let go, beloved, for the divine identity descends. Know this identity as the I am of God, as the I of God. Know your being, beloved, and then daily and hourly claim your freedom in the ritual of creation to be that being. Each time you turn the page of a Buddhist text, you understand a new freedom. It is the hour, then, to cast the anchor of your being into the great causal body above. You have anchored your hopes and dreams in the astral sea. So accustomed have you become to anchoring yourself in lower levels that you do not realize how many anchors of desire you have dropped beneath the deep blue sea which grows black as you descend the fathoms. Cross the sea. Do not be anchored in it or to it. Yes, cast your hopes and your dreams, your longings, but above all, your will into the great sea of light, the sea of light that is the causal body of your I am presence. All elements of light are in this causal body, this great, great firmament of light. How do you cast the anchor up, high up, up, in the sense of in the very accelerated vibrations of consciousness of your I am presence? The presence resists anything that is less than the light of your perfection of soul. Thus, imagine pulling against the gravity of karma and against the lesser self, knowing that with all of your might you must heave this anchor of pure hope into the very highest octaves, the 33 planes of await the arrival of your anchor with a mighty thud, as you have hurled it with the assistance of Hercules and Amazonia. I come to speak to you of this concept this night, beloved, because the astral sea does rise. It is a treacherous sea, as boisterous as the wind might be, and as threatening as the waves. The astral sea does not reveal what is beneath the surface. Thus, your moorings must be elsewhere, and you must pull from the depths, from the very deep itself, 
substance of your being that you have allowed to be tied to the lower levels of the astral plane. This is the exercise of the hour and of the year to withdraw yourself from the lowest levels to which you have descended thoughtlessly or thoughtfully, premeditatively or without even a care. It is dangerous, I say, for you to have any portion of yourself tied to these lower realms. This subject is worthy of your consideration. Think as I speak to you now, beloved. What portion of yourself have you left behind? What desire that is not of God have you clung to, have you kept, that is pulling you down to those lower levels? I repeat, beloved, it is dangerous. End of quote. This should cause each of us to stop and ponder. Truly, how much of every day do I wish to have things of this earth? How much are we dependent upon getting involved with those energies that are involved in this planet? When we evaluate the time involved in lower involvement or consciousness and how much time we have spent in higher consciousness, how does it balance out? Do you understand the concept of throwing your anger up into the higher vibrations of consciousness? There are 33 levels of higher consciousness. Have you pondered on how high your anchor or your consciousness may go? Remember, love is the highest. Then come to other, then come the other attributes of God as freedom, peace, forgiveness, kindness, etc., etc. Where are your anchors and how high or low are they? This challenges each of us to be extremely honest with ourselves and our God. So this week, see how much progress you can make in throwing more of your anchors up into the higher planes and dimensions to your causal body and I am presence. May God bless you with success and freedom.